somewhere not a church somewhere it was you and Jesus and God and I know that's the way that I found it to be with me I was raised going to church every Sunday there was no such thing as not going to church in our household 
And you know what? A lot of times they took me I kicking and screaming. I, I didn't want to go. Didn't want to get up on Sunday and make it out there. And it seemed like as I got older, it became more of a struggle for Mom to get us out of bed and get us to go. When we started getting a mind of our own and started staying up later on Saturday night and being with our friends, my little son. And but even though I was raised going to church, how oh, why that that didn't make me a Christian? Mom and Dad didn't make me a Christian. I got news for you. I'll the onions pray just for a minute of time. I, I know I'm kind of hoarse today, but that's all right. As long as I as long as I can get the words out that God wants me to get out, it don't matter how it sounds. Uh, but listen, but it matters how it feels that's today. Right. And I'm telling you right now uh, that if your religion's not in your heart first, uh, uh, why if your religion don't bring you to your knees in tears, uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, why I'm afraid uh, that it's all in your head today uh, and not in your heart. You must pray here. Uh, uh, but oh, ain't no wonder uh, why the old writer said like this. Uh, why he said, cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Oh, be afflicted and mourn today. That's where it's at. He said, be afflicted and mourn and weep today. Oh, let your laughter listen to turn to mourning and your joy to heaven heaviness today yeah. uh, because I'm telling you uh, why if you don't have the Lord uh, you don't know what joy is uh, uh, listen here I hope God uh, will free me up just for a minute of time. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? Here's how the Spirit of God works. Uh, and it works outside of man. Uh, works outside of churches usually. Uh, uh, but oh, God. Uh, uh, when I was on the outside looking in. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, when I fell wrong. And I loved how you put it this morning, Jeremy, about uh, that conviction coming in your heart. Uh, that's God talking to you. Uh, uh, that's how He talks to us. And you know what? Uh, when I was on the outside looking in and I could feel that conviction, uh, but I was trying best I could to ignore it. Uh, oh, and you know what? Uh, the sun uh, got to a point where uh, uh, it became so heavy to me uh, uh, that I didn't want to go to church because... Uh, because it seemed like uh, uh, all them old songs just condemned me. Uh, I felt like every time somebody preached, uh, I felt like they was preaching right at me. Uh, and you know what? Uh, being a big old crowded church house sometimes uh, and feel like uh, they was pointing right at me. Uh, uh, and you know what? They might not have even known I was sitting there. Uh, but oh, uh, uh, my Lord knew where I was at. Uh, my Lord knew uh, uh, what I was in need of. And He was just calling to me. Uh, it's all He was doing. Uh, well, listen, uh, and you know what? Uh, the interesting thing was uh, uh, when I became, when I surrendered my life to my Lord, uh, and you know what? It wasn't in the church. It could have been, uh, but for me it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't in my car. Uh, listen, uh, it was in uh, the little home I was raised in. Uh, oh, a little uh, two-bedroom home uh, just outside of Detroit. 
destroyed. Uh, uh, where seven children was raised. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. my Lord. Uh, when he heard me that night. Uh, you know what? I was sleeping in a little cot. Uh, listen, I just pushed over up against the wall. And a full-size bed in there. Uh, our home uh, was only about uh, 900 square feet. Uh, uh, listen to me. Uh, and that little bitty girl. <coughs> Uh, Mom and Dad, it was walled wall beds in that room there. Yeah. Uh, oh, I still remember uh, uh, how everybody would be laid out in there at night. Uh, my, uh, with ki uh, children everywhere. Yeah. I'm just trying to sleep in that little home. I'll never forget that. Uh, uh, listen, uh, people don't even know what a rollaway bed is today. Uh, mm -hmm. Like we used to sleep on. Yeah. Uh, but oh, you know what? Uh, when uh, I'm laying there in a little crowded room that night, uh, uh, when everybody else was asleep, and I was uh, crying myself to sleep uh, one more time, and a young man uh, that used to be so full of pride, yeah. uh, uh, so full of mischief, uh, uh, oh, uh, why am I, my Lord? Uh, I heard my cries and when he took that burden from me. Oh, I, uh, when he took that conviction from me, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, when I go to church, uh, those same songs uh, that used to condemn me, uh, uh, they made me want to rejoice in uh, uh, that same spirit. Oh, yeah. uh, I, uh, that would be in that church, uh, used to condemn me, uh, but now it lifted me up. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the way God works. Uh, uh, oh, uh, people today oh, I, I'm, I'm telling you if you don't seek God uh, you ain't gonna find no. him uh, if you don't call his name uh, he's not gonna answer yeah. you uh, uh, oh uh, just like and I think a lot about this uh, you know what that old patriarch Abraham, uh, uh, listen to me. Uh, uh, we, we all know uh, what, how he was considered the father of faith, oh, and he, uh, uh, oh God, you know what? Oh, he was an old man, uh, listen. And his son Isaac, uh, the one uh, that was going to inherit everything yeah. from him, uh, the child uh, that God had told him, uh, that's where your seed's going to be blessed. Uh, uh, millions of blessings coming out of that lineage there. Uh, and when Abraham was an old man, and he was still off in a strange land, uh, the land that God had promised him, uh, uh, his son Isaac, uh, about 40 years old, uh, still didn't have a wife and Abraham he was too old to travel himself and he called his his eldest servant uh, no doubt uh, this man was pretty old himself uh, and he said I need you uh, to make me a promise uh, he said I need you to promise and that um, you're gonna go back to our home country uh, and yep. you're gonna find a wife uh, for my boy here uh, and you'll uh, you'll not take and you'll not let him take a wife uh, from this land here. Uh, uh, oh, how oh, I am that old servant. I uh, said uh, he made a promise to him. Yeah. He said, What if I go there and she won't come? Yeah. Uh, and Abraham said, Don't you worry about that. Uh, you're free from this old. Uh, um, because um, Abraham wasn't called the father of faith for That's nothing. Right, he knew. Uh, uh, Oh God, and uh, when you come out to church here, uh, uh, do you come out uh, with faith believing? I've got a blessing coming my way. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, when I first started preaching, uh, I was a young man. 
and I, and I was so scared and I was struggling and I'd get up and listen I got up at the Ypsilanti church I couldn't hardly told you my name uh, you know why and there was another preacher came to me and he said I want to tell you something little brother he said I struggled too when I started he said uh, but until I started looking forward my blessing he said until I got up uh, expecting God to bless me. He didn't bless me. Yeah. Uh, but oh, uh, my Lord's looking to bless us today. And you know what? I thought a lot about what he told me. And I'm telling you the truth. The next time I got up, I was hungry. Yeah. And I was expecting. And the Lord, he paid me that day. That's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, and Abraham servant uh, he headed off on his journey uh, and why he took ten camels with him and some other men with him uh, and when they got down uh, when, uh, they got down close uh, uh, listen to where they was going to uh, why uh, they come to the city there uh, and they was outside the city uh, oh God and there was a well there uh, outside the city uh, and as their their ways were back then uh, and I guess in the afternoon of day uh, uh, the young ladies would come out uh, out of the city to the well yeah. and they draw water yeah. uh, and to do their work for the day uh, uh, oh God and, and that old man uh, listen, uh, and he got there, and they said he made his camels to kneel down out there, yeah. and they said, and he began to pray, and he said, oh God, God of Abraham, yeah, yeah. he Same said, Lord. if it be your will, uh, uh, Lord, would you bless my master, and the journey he sent me on, uh, listen, and he said, Lord, uh, if, uh, if this be of you, yeah. if it be your will, God, uh, let a woman come out, a young damsel come out, uh, bearing a pitcher on her shoulder. Uh, and, uh, Lord, I'm going to say to her, uh, will you give me the drink? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Lord, and she's going to say, yes, I'm going to give you the drink, and I'm going to draw and water your camels yeah, also. Yeah. Uh, listen here today. That sounds like a lot to ask of God. Uh, but you know what? Ain't nothing too great for my Lord. Uh, and, uh, and the Bible says that he hadn't even finished speaking, had he? Uh, listen, he hadn't even got done talking. Uh, and here come a young lady named Rebecca uh, bearing a pitcher on her shoulder. And she went to the well and she filled it up and he looked at her it says he ran over and got in front of her and she started to leave and he said uh, could I have a little drink of water for you uh, listen and she uh, she said yes you can and she let her pitcher down off her shoulder and when he had finished drinking uh, she looked at him and she said well I'm going to draw water for your camels too yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh Oh, and it said uh, that old man uh, that old servant uh, bowed down right there in front of her and said uh, blessed be God uh, oh God uh, uh, why? And he prayed there, and he rejoiced there. He said, I'm, uh, I've been in the way, uh, yeah, so yeah. the Lord led me uh, to the house of my master's brethren. And that's the whole scripture uh, that I'm going to get to. Uh, yeah. uh, oh! Uh, by me being yeah. in the way, yeah. uh, listen, 
uh, uh, people, uh, you better get in the way of the Lord today. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's only yes. one way. It's a little narrow path today. Uh, oh, uh, so many people, and they want to say, oh, well, God understands me. Uh, uh, the Lord knows. Uh, God knows me. Uh, I got news for you. Uh, God knows one way, and that's the way of Jesus, his son, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, oh, come, and I'm glad that it's that way today. Uh, you know what? Uh, Jesus said himself, uh, Not everyone that saith unto me, uh, Lord, Lord, uh, shall enter into the kingdom of no, heaven. Uh, uh, why? Uh, oh, uh, this world, uh, they want to fool themselves and think all you got to do and go to church once in a while yes, and just don't be mean to people. And uh, that's all you got to do. I got news for you. Uh, uh, why? Ain't never uh, tasted a beer in my life, Shad. Uh, listen to me. Uh, uh, oh, I never used uh, God's name in vain. Uh, listen, I never did any of those things. Uh, ain't never smoked a cigarette in my life. Uh, but you know what? Uh, 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 listen. Uh, why? If I'd have died uh, before I'd been saved, I'd have went to the same hell uh, the same, uh, as the biggest uh, murderer in this world. Uh, uh, oh, God, it ain't about uh, uh, the things, all the things that you do. And there's one thing it's about, and that's seeking God. And you know what? Uh, you better be doing it today. Uh, why? If you haven't had your heart broke if you haven't been down uh, listen at the foot of Jesus uh, just between you and him Shad uh, you know what I'm talking about and you better get there yeah. uh, because uh, that's the only thing that God knows uh, right. that he's going to recognize uh, but you know what uh, he, he's so full of tender mercies uh, Just like I told you how it seemed like uh, uh, Before I was a Christian uh, The things of God condemned me uh, But uh, when I became a Christian uh, uh, How I craved them uh, You know what? Uh, when I walked in this morning uh, With nobody else here And I came through And I felt like I could have shouted I felt like uh, I listened already I just felt like I was home. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, uh, how good he's uh, been to us. Yeah. He's so full of tender mercies, as the Bible says. And you know what? It's just like this here. Uh, uh, why? Uh, you have heard us talk a lot about uh, making a big deal out of Olivia's birthday, uh, turning five years old. Uh, and I know it's special to our little family because of what we went through. And no doubt every family's uh, got their uh, little examples. Uh, but you know why? It made me think this week. Uh, uh, listen. Uh, why? Uh, uh, when, uh, when we was still uh, kind of heartbroken uh, not knowing uh, uh, how the Lord was going to deal and uh, you know what the Lord had a decision to make yes, didn't he did. uh, 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 had it right in his hand and it was up to him uh, uh, oh God I'll never I forget uh, the words of my dad. Uh, listen, uh, he's up in his 80s. He's blind, he can't see. And uh, uh, we was all over there. Uh, Olivia was just a little baby. Uh, uh, we still didn't know the case with her. And uh, you know what? Uh, uh, you could uh, sit her up and she'd just stare off into space. And you could uh, jump at her and clap your hands and all those things. She'd never even flinch. And uh, she'd just sit there. Uh, uh, Oh, God, I remember when my mom and dad had everything.
everybody in their home. Uh, that's over 70 people, uh, just our immediate family. Uh, but that's the way they liked it. It was just about standing room only in their home. Uh, and you know what? And Dad uh, shushed everybody. And he said, and you know what? I was laying in my bed the other night. He said, and I was a praying over a count of this little baby of Jeremy and Brandy's. And I listened and then he said, it come to me just like that. He said, I saw, I saw Jesus and God talking about it. And God said, I got this little special baby. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it. What should I do with this little baby? And Jesus told him, oh, I know a little family that love her and take care of her. Listen, no matter how she turns out, and you know what? And I've thought a lot about that. Oh, God. Uh, people, if you want to hear from the Lord, you better seek Him. Yeah, yeah. Don't sit back. You better get in the way. Uh, listen yeah. uh, uh, of the Lord today. Yeah, Lord. I'm just telling you, if you think you're going to find the richness of God by being a part-time servant and ain't going to work, it's all in the because that's what I tried. But until that night, I will never forget the night that I begged the Lord. I said, God, just take my life tonight. And I was just a 17-year-old boy that miserable with myself. And I said, Lord, take my life if that's what it takes. But take me to heaven. And when I was willing that night to let everything go and give up my life, it was like that. And I found out what it so meant to be born again. So, Yuns, come on. Come on, Everybody continue to pray.